It's so weird, man. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> Yo. The bridge is falling down, my fair lady. If the vessel loses power, every single computer on in the wheelhouse and operational system still should have power. <clears throat> the reason is, is there are extensive battery backups that are installed when the ships are manufactured and that should be maintained by the marine en engineering crew to ensure that if the, the vessel does lose power, the systems on board the wheelhouse stay fully powered up at all times using battery backups. The vessels have emergency diesel generators, okay? Those emergency diesel generators are on a certain type of circuit that if the there is a, a complete systems uh, power failure, those diesel generator backup systems come up instantaneously, yeah. automatically, on an automatic bus. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I am your host, Joe Guy. And I am Danny. It's everything. Uh, today was supposed to be our episode on the number 17. But a real life false flag has just happened in our country. And I figured we'd go over that instead. What is, so, a, <clears throat> what is a false flag? Um, it's when the government makes you believe something is happening so they can kick in their ulterior motive mm. or you know like uh september in new york or name a school those are false flags and they're usually gun grabs okay all well, those ones anyway like the boston marathon that was a false flag they're psyops. They 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 do these horrible tragedy things, and then they make you believe it's a horrible thing that's happened and change the thinking of Americans. That's what a false flag is. A lot of our episodes are based around false flags. Okay. Like the Titanic. You know. Well, that that was they had a lot of things going on for that one, but you know. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. I just uh, got back off a um, all-you-can-eat train that went up and down the coast of California, feeding you nothing but tequila and tacos. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Um, whew, no, uh, I didn't do that. I want to. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. That's a real thing. If If it isn't, I should make it one. And then we could do that. So if anybody has a train out there, they'd want to loan me. Um, and a tequila brand they'd want to promote. And somebody wants to make James Beard Award tacos to feed people. James Beard Award tacos. I don't even know what that means. Well, you don't have a beard anymore. If you had a beard, you'd know. That's where they get you. You gotta have a beard. Yeah. I will grow it back eventually. <laughs> just need a couple months. It looks good, man. You look good without a beard. Just, you're al natural. Yeah. You look like you're 17 again. That's a lie. All right. Uh, so did you hear what happened in Baltimore? Uh, the Ravens didn't win. Uh, there was a shooting, I'm sure. It is Baltimore. There's always there's always a shooting in Baltimore. Uh, the bridge. Nope. You didn't hear about the bridge I collapsing. Heard, I swear I heard nothing about any bridge except for you saying, we're going to do an episode about the bridge. And I'm like, what fucking bridge? I know nothing about really? this bridge. Yeah. Listen, man. Okay. I live my life for me. Like... Well, I work also I work a lot and the days that I work I don't watch much TV and what I do is to fall asleep. That's good. On my days off right. I, I on my days off I catch up on world events 
I haven't had days off in a while. It feels like okay. so. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not hip to your bridge. It's probably a good thing. Okay, I'm listening. But we're gonna learn shit today. Yay! Come on. <laughs> Yay! There's a bridge called the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, and a uh, a freight boat, a boat with uh, the big trailers on it. Mm-hmm. You know where they keep the kids from their human trafficking. Um, that kind of boat hit a bridge, and the bridge collapsed in Baltimore. We should start off with playing the bridge, since you didn't see it, right? Yeah, I, I would like to see it. I'm gonna have a drink. During this episode. All right. I'm going to class it up a bit. We're going to show you what actually happened here. You ready? Actually, no, you're not. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm ready. Go ahead. I'm ready. I'm listening. All right. All right. With that, I think we're ready. Here's a video of the bridge collapsing in uh, Baltimore. And this is sped up because the boat goes way slower than that. It's going eight knots. What's that? What's that in miles it's per hour? Boat speed. Eight knots it is nine miles per hour. I can run that fast, just so you know. Okay. Oh, nice. So can you? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, uh, yeah, so it's going nine miles an hour, and uh, here is uh, this big old freighter boat. Sharp right turn. Have you ever seen a b- <laughs> Have you ever seen a bridge collapse like that? How do you feel about the initial viewing of the bridge, of the boat hitting the bridge and the bridge uh, collapsing because the boat hit it? When that boat hit that, I'm a uh, support. What what, what, what do we call it? Um, Did it remove? Did it loosen all of the bolts that were connecting the rest of the bridge (laughs) at the exact same time? So the 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 theory is that the the boat lost power. And it lost its steering. Uh huh. And it couldn't steer anymore after it lost power. Understood. So it no, took that, a sharp here. right turn into the bridge structure. And then apparently it hit it so hard that it made it so the rest of the bridge collapsed <laughs> like that. That's the story. Listen, <laughs> I'm no expert. I'm no expert. I'm no construction worker. But you think it would hold? <laughs> you think it would hold up a little? No, it looked like it. Yeah, it looked like a goddamn Jenga tower, buddy. It looked like a bunch of toothpicks that I. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Um. This is give this is being a pain in the ass today. All right. Uh so here is uh just a reminder of you know the scumbags that run our our country. This is going to be a multi-year recovery. It's going Talk to about take Hawaii. essentially years to rebuild Lahaina which was destroyed. But we will build it back better and we'll build it back proudly uh, as we do in Hawaii. 
Okay, we are going to build it back better. Let's remember this too as well. Important question to ask, how do we build back better? To build back better or whatever. We have a chance to reset the clock and build back better than before. To build back better than before. Remember the, the terrible damage of COVID as we try to build back from this uh, global pandemic. Joe Biden calls it build back better. Build back better. Building back better to do things differently. To build back better. We're going to build it back better. And build it back better. It's my plan to build back better. Uh, start taking all the problems that have been created in right. education and mental health and start to, to build back in a positive way. I have launched a booklet called Build Back Better, written after yeah. coronavirus. It's about building this country back better. <laughs> Growing conspiracy following it. It is called the Great Reset. Unprecedented opportunity. Pedophile. To rethink Tomo. and reset. The All of these guys the are. Well, that was like opportunity for very reset. well known, Chomo. The theory even calls Mr. Biden's campaign slogan, Build Back Better, a front for the conspiracy. Build Back Better. Building Back Better, our economy. Build back better. Build back better. All elements of the Great Reset are fundamental to building the future we need. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. You found all my favorite people for this video, huh? A big effort to, some would say, to build back, back better. We would say to really have a reason, great reset. Oh. oh. So that was just a reminder of, you know, all the chomos that run our country and other countries here's the mayor of baltimore uh, i've heard directly from president biden everyone in the world saw him say it. Uh, he's going to be here to see it through his administration is going to be here to see it through i know that our governor and our city and our county and our other state and congressional leaders are going to be here to see it through this is baltimore uh, we overcome challenges and we overcome folks doubting us all the time we have to be reminded that uh, this key bridge is named after Francis Scott Key, who wrote the national anthem, sitting in a place not too far where the bridge is behind us because folks were doubting uh, this country and doubting this city. Uh, that is not something that I would do. If you're a betting person, don't bet against Baltimore. We will build back better. We will build back better. Um, okay. All right. I'm, let's, I'm, let's... I'm starting to see a theme here. We want to build. Yeah. We want. We want. We we want to build what we once had, uh, but better. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna build. It uh, back. We'll stick. We'll stick with the mayor. Of that same interview. Let's see what else he has to say about everybody's favorite president. I first met you at the White House when you yep. interviewed the president um, months ago, probably years ago. Your conversation with him today. What was that like? Well, this is, listen. Well, you know, I know the president very well. It's just about uh, the president. Being what he is, uh, a honest and the best president in my lifetime, someone who understands the importance of not just of this bridge, but this city, and who has a true, true love for making sure that the federal government is helping state and local leaders through crises like this. Uh, we can't, I can't say enough how much I appreciate him, how much I appreciate his leadership and his entire administration. We've heard from Secretary Buttigieg, obviously, who is with us today. I've heard from uh, DOJ, I've heard from Homeland Security, uh, other members of the president's staff. They understand how important this is, and I have no doubt that they'll be here with us. So this mayor is, he's a, he's a pretty smart guy, you know? Mm -hmm. You know? Biden's the best president of his lifetime, and, you know. Mm hmm Yeah. 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 Uh, so the news decided to <laughs> the news decided to uh, play this so new this morning, the absurd, not to mention offensive alternate reality devoid of facts that was created as search and rescue efforts were underway at the Baltimore bridge collapse. Seen as Donnie O'Sullivan is with us this morning. You know why, Donnie? Just why? 
Yeah, John, look, I mean, by the time most of us woke up on Tuesday morning to that news of the collapse uh, of the bridge in Baltimore, there were already uh, wild conspiracy theories circulating online just hours after the event occurred. Uh, I want to show you a list quickly of just some of these totally false conspiracy theories just to show you how ridiculous they are. Um, initially, people were claiming that there was a foreign cyber attack on the on the ship, uh, making it deliberately crash into uh, the bridge of course, which is false. There's absolutely no evidence for that. Um, another another one was that a, the captain of the ship uh, was impaired in some way by the COVID-19 vaccine. Again, totally uh, false. Nothing happened with the captain. Um, others were claiming, uh, obviously with anti-Semitic and anti-Ukraine um, undertones that Israel uh, or Ukraine were somehow responsible uh, for the attack. Uh, and also, it just kind of got a bit wilder Dude. and wilder after that. Uh, there was an open Obama. The Obamas uh, produced a movie on Netflix uh, that had a tanker ship run aground in it. So therefore, the Obamas had something to do with this. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, th these conspiracy theories and this, um, this is tragic event yeah. uh, was taken uh, oh, CNN. And used as a political battering ram in our culture wars in this country at the moment. No wonder and people uh, decided to, to <laughs> blame DEI, uh, diversity because uh, this inclusion is inclusion policy in some way <laughs> yeah. for uh, the crashing of this ship. Let me show you a list of some really shitty conspiracy theories. <laughs> yeah. And then they'll have absolutely no chance of being true. And you might you might shake your head at them because we don't want you to think of real conspiracies that might be true. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I don't even have to play the rest of the video. The list that he shows, dude, I've gone deep on this fucking thing. Okay. <gasps> Cyber attack, that is um there's Republican news channels that are pushing out this as a cyber attack and this Lauren Logan chick is talking about how her sources inside the White House are telling her that's a cyber attack and that's how you know uh, your Republican broadcast guys are fucking shills too because it's not a cyber attack. Uh, Captain COVID-19 vaccine, I haven't seen anything on that conspiracy theory at all. So that's bullshit. The Israel or Ukraine is responsible. I haven't heard that at all. <laughs> um, followed plot of Obama-produced movie. Obama produced a movie called uh, Leave the World Behind or some shit. That's how you know that movie is fucking garbage, one. And two, the only thing that happened in that movie that is like this is a boat loses power and washes up on shore. I've only seen that clip. Haven't seen the rest of the movie, but the rest of the movie's probably piece of shit because Obama produced it. Result of DEI policies. DEI policies are it's, it's like a um it's like a minority give minorities jobs give minorities these uh school scholarships just because they're minorities they're blaming so for some reason there's a conspiracy that that's why the vote failed because there was black workers working on the ship diversity diversity yes diversity inclusion initiative or some shit um, supposedly people are saying the reason why the boat crashed is because that's black people are at the helm of the first of all that's fucking racist all right that's not a that's <laughs> not even a real theory i haven't i do like i said i did a deep dive to to figure out what the hell actually happened and i have not seen that theory other than news channels this spouting might... it that it's a conspiracy you ever seen a black ship captain no. Not even in a movie. That's Here's another news broadcast where they're trying to push uh, that white people are racist and blaming this on black people somehow. You choose to do so to respond to the tomfoolery That's the mayor. Uh, and attacks on you for having the nerve to be black and also a mayor. Well, I think, listen, uh, uh, I know and we all know and you know very well that black men and young black men in particular have been the boogeyman for those who are racist and think that only uh, uh, straight, wealthy white men should have a saying anything. 
We've been the boogeyman from them since the first day they brought us to this country. And what they mean by DAI, in my opinion, is duly elected incumbent. Uh, we know what they want to say, uh, but they don't have the courage to say the N-word. And the fact that I don't uh, believe in their uh, untruthful and wrong ideology, and I am very proud of it, proud of my heritage and who I am and where I come from scares them uh, because me being at my position means that their way of thinking, their way of life of being comfortable and suffering and while everyone else suffers is going to be at risk and they should be afraid because that's my purpose in life. And the, by, by the way, you know, the, the coded racism before we even knew the. So apparently one of the theories is racism collapse the bridge <laughs> what the fuck <clears throat> well uh is, was there a camera pointed at that bridge uh days prior did we see a lot of so that that camera is always pointed at the bridge that that shot and there's multiple cameras from the other angle of the bridge did we see any ghosts working on that bridge or like people in in white sheets no working on that bridge Re no. Removing removing the those bolts. <laughs> just just asking. Because uh, if so, racism might be a factor. Okay. All right. All right. Just saying. All right. Here's the route that the boat took. <clears throat> See how it did this big old U-turn, and then it got into the lane, and then at this point where the red circle is, it kind of deviates and goes right into the fucking bridge. Because they lost power. Okay. Here's well, a side I, view. Hold on. Have you ever driven what? a boat? No. Okay. Two, not... When driving a boat, you do need power to steer. To change direction, you need... Because, like, if you're going and, you're, and your prop is facing this way, and you're... You cut the power. You can turn your wheel and the, turn the prop this way. Your boat's still going to keep going straight. Oh, uh, we'll get to that. Okay. <clears throat> we'll get to that. All right. I got you. Here's a video. Um, this is also CNN. Here's a video of them showing us another angle. We got some new video just into CNN. This is from a traffic camera on the Francis Scott Key Bridge. This is the first time I'm seeing it as well. It shows the moments just before the ship crashed into the bridge, causing the bridge to collapse. In the distance, what you can see there is a flashing light that is believed to be of the construction crew. Then there it is on the right side of the screen. You can see the boat slowly so beginning the to approach the bridge. Ultimately, as Those the boat makes left. contact with the bridge, Workers, the supposedly. video is just completely lost. The video goes out, but you can see an empty bridge here at this point because police were able to clear it and stop drivers on each side. But you do see the lights of what is believed to be that construction crew. They lost the feed right there. There's no other video from this angle. The video just cuts out before the before the boat even hits the bridge. Why is that? Does you that make sense? Uh, no, you think they would have a little more. I mean, just a little, yeah. Of uh, maybe it hitting and the it electrically going on or some shit. Right. Uh, here is the investigation. I played a lot of videos, but we're gonna run this home. It turns out that during the power outage, the black box didn't record a bunch of key information. Yes, the black box somehow didn't manage to record vital info. That's not supposed to happen. Even with the power off, it should independently operate. So keep rolling this if you would, Philip. I'll just read some of what the NTSB found here, but you can see the initial crash in those cargo containers right now, which have breached. We'll get to that in a second. So at about 30, uh, 0.39 hours on Tuesday morning, the box ship Dolly got underway from Baltimore's secret terminal with 21 Indian crew members, two local pilots, 56 hazmat containers on board. The pilots released the docking tugs shortly after, and the vessel was on its way into the open channel. Then at about one morning, one, one hour, 24, zero, I don't know how you say that in military times, like zero, 1.24 a.m., Dolly was underway in the channel, making eight knots and steering 141 degrees. Then at about 1.25 a.m., multiple alarms went off. 
and the video, the VDR, which is the black box, ceased recording. It just stopped. So the black box just stopped recording anything at 1.25 a.m., according to the NTSB. Using backup power, the, the black box kept recording bridge audio only. That's it. Nothing else. One minute later, 1.26 a.m., the black box was able to resume recording the ship's electronic data. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shortly after that, at 1.26, the pilot made a general VHF call for tug assistance. So we have basically two minutes of the black box not recording anything. The vital two minutes. Hmm. Camera goes off. The black box stops working. Interesting. It's very interesting. You know? Pretty interesting. It's crazy, like, coincidences that happen like that. Like, how, you know, like, whoa. It's, it's fucking nuts. Uh, here's an actual ship captain talking Damn. about power and steering on these giant boats. Has nothing to do with Baltimore. This is just a video of him on his own boat sharing it way before this happened. We're up on the navigation bridge, and I'm standing in front of the helm here, which is where we steer the ship. There are two steering gears. We have a uh, number one steering gear and number two steering gear. These will alternate every day. Even days we try to run the number two pump, and odd days we run the number one pump. So you can see uh, today's the 16th. That's an even day. So we have the number two pump running. Whenever we're coming in and out of port, we always have the number one pump on though, because that's attached to the emergency bus. So if we lost power, the emergency diesel generator would turn on and it would still give us power to our steering. That was it. When they go in and out of port, they always have that on because if the power goes out, they'll still be able to steer. Hmm. Yeah, but that was a that was a white captain, so <laughs> um you know you're right. You know, because because so. racism very very much probably caused this uh, this this fucking accident. It's it's my favorite theory at this point. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, dude. <laughs> a cop was probably too busy and had his knee on a black dude's neck that was trying to control where the ship was going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a coast guard talking about uh, I think he's a retired coast guard but here he is let me be that dude the retired coastie to tell you ain't no way boy ain't no way that no tanker ship is gonna crash into no bridge at night by mistake question to all my coasties out there where the pilot boat at and where the tugboats at and where is the horn the warning the crash warning before it hits I ain't hear no warning I ain't hear no mm -mm, nothing I'm gonna leave that with y'all ain't no way Ain't no way. This is our lovely mayor on phone call with CNN. And let's see what he wants us not to do anymore. ...sense of what you thought at first light this morning when you saw the pictures of actually what that bridge looks like with the barge uh, slammed into it there. What were your initial thoughts? Well, it was something out of an action movie. It's something you never think you would see. And uh, being here right now looking at it is even more surreal. And it just makes you think about, again, those families, those individuals that were on that bridge, those folks that are even on that, that vessel, even more. Because no one should have to endure. And I'm going to be the first to ask that CNN and everyone else stop showing the video no one needs to see uh, a possibility of their family member being severely injured or otherwise over and over and over again because it's just traumatizing our community Fair enough. so he doesn't want us to watch the video anymore I'm, you know it's very mayor of him 
Is there reasons why he wouldn't want us to watch the video, D? Um, he did you see the video? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did. I sure did. Uh, here's a guy just. I've seen Lego bridges hold up better than that one. <laughs> Yo. Um, now we're gonna end into the good stuff here. That wasn't the good stuff. You've been holding. Uh, on? Here we go, bud. <clears throat> What you're looking for here are the tiny flashes of light just underneath the bridges. There's one, there's two, there's three. And those are them blowing the supports out of the bridge. And then you need to look for the second one above the bridge on the arch. You can see them cutting there. You can see the little flash of light. And then this one actually starts to smoke and burn. You can see the flames coming off it. That's the cutting charges going on. The boat hitting the bridge, that's just a cover story for them blowing the bridge. A bit like flying the planes into the Twin Towers. The explosives were already set. Right, this is a different view of the bridge. And you can see again, if you look, the cutting charges going off. You see the one going off at the bottom, and then the ones will start to go off at the top as well. And the thing you have to question as well is, why is there no bridge footage? Because there's cameras all along this bridge it's because it will show these explosions going off and that's why they don't run it released the other question you have to ask is why why has the cia the deep state blown this bridge that is the next question why it, why <clears throat> i want to know why but i think i know why do you think that would happen do you think this is a four-lane bridge, too. Do you think a boat would hit the opposite side and then it would come apart like that on the other side? It's so weird, man. Man, that's so weird. <laughs> Yo. It's, it's a fucking joke, man. Smooth. It's smooth. Look at this. Yeah, I see it, bro. It's I see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's and people watch this on the news and they're like, "Oh, oh, it's what? Oh my gosh!" I've already gotten an argument with people, and they're like, "Oh yeah, right. No, I saw the video. Uh, the boat hit it, and that's what caused it." Yeah, because you didn't look more into it. You watch I... CNN show you a clip, dude. The first video you showed me. I know. <laughs> Things don't just. Fall apart like that. Yeah. I don't care yeah. who you are. Things don't fall apart like that. Unless you built it to collapse. That the intent yeah. if the intent was for the bridge to collapse when you built the bridge, that's the only reason it would ever fall apart like that. You're a smart guy. Eh, you tell me that sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, I know. But the, uh, but you're very smart. You're 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 using your 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 actual brain, unlike a lot of people. Because it's without even without even looking more into it, like watching that video is like, it's a joke. Dude, they build bridges to withstand earthquakes and yeah hurricanes and incle yeah inclement weather like. Come on, bro. Yeah. And it was going nine miles an hour. I, you know, it, listen, it was a heavy, it was a heavy boat. There's a lot of cargo. I'm not taking away from that. Even if, even though it don't, it, there's no way it falls apart like that. The math ain't math. <laughs> now, uh, I mean, you know what? That, that bridge fell apart like Baltimore's defense. <laughs> Maybe maybe that bridge did. You know what? Maybe all the shootings, stray bullets kept hitting the bridge and it loosened everything on the bridge. Could be that. Yep. Could be that. Usually when you aim like this, though, you're not going to hit a rivet. You know what I mean? You got to really aim to hit a rivet. And this, yeah. ain't, this ain't going to cut it. Yeah. I'm with you. Why would they do it, though? That's racist. Because they're racists. Oh, because of racism. You're yeah. right. Uh, here's a guy talking about all the impact this bridge is going to have by being demolished. What the effects of this bridge collapse will have on the economy and the surrounding areas? And the answer is 
should be very alarming, but also not surprising. Check this out. An average of 4,900 trucks per day carry $28 billion worth of goods. Those are now gonna need to be rerouted due to the bridge collapse. And the greatest impact is expected on hazardous materials such as diesel fuel. And we're already having problems with gas prices. This is only gonna make things worse and set things back as it pertains to gas prices, but there's more, of course. The bridge plays a crucial role in the nation's infrastructure and the supply chain. The disruption is gonna have long-lasting effects. Baltimore serves as the largest entry point in the U.S. for a large agriculture and construction equipment, including tractors, farming combines, bulldozers, and heavy-duty trucks bound for the Midwest, the farmland of America. Let's visit that now. Because this collapse comes just during the peak of planting season in the Midwest, and once again, it's gonna affect the farming and the food. Additionally, construction activities also pick up in colder climates as the ground thaws. The economic impact extends beyond immediate costs, potentially affecting businesses, jobs, and regional stability. But there's more. The bridge's collapse affects the entire supply chain, including the movement of agricultural equipment, fertilizers, and other essential materials. Farmers may face challenges in receiving necessary supplies, leading to potential delays in planting, maintenance, and harvesting. The economic repercussions extend beyond immediate costs, potentially affecting crop yields, prices, and again, regional stability. I want to hear from you what you think about this. No, not this predictive programming, but I want to know what you think about this taking place last night and what it's going to do to the country moving forward. Share this video with everyone that you know. If it lost power, do you see that fucking sharp right turn it takes? I didn't Look at this shit. Look at it. Watch. <laughs> It goes right. Dude, if you were aiming for that shit, you couldn't fucking hit it better. It was li it needed to hit it so they could blow the boat so they could blow the bridge. It had to hit it cuz that's their cover story. This bridge was named after Francis Scott Key. He wrote the national anthem. Are they trying to tell us that they're taking down America? I mean, I feel like that's really trying to read into something. But maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. They have to tell us. They have to tell you. And you got to tell me shit. I ain't listening anyways. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Um, so that's all I got. <clears throat> That's all I got. Um, my glass is empty. What do you uh what do you think? I think that le that that bridge should have been made of Legos. It would have held up better. It would have held up better. Um very suspect uh bridge structure they had there that I did see that the sharp turn that the 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 ship took. Um Definitely seems like it could be cover for something, aka your your false flag. I think you got me on this one, Joe. I think you got me. And everybody yeah. out there, safe to say, if you <clears throat> believe the news and all of that, there's a bridge in Baltimore. I'd love to sell you. <laughs> well, whoops! No, there's not. Not anymore because they blew it up. Stop buying the bullshit. Think. Think with your fucking brains, people. Eh, here's the thing, though. And it it definitely didn't have to do with this. The fucking color of someone's skin, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't listen to the news conspiracies because they're not real conspiracies. They want you to believe that that's what people think. It's not. Nobody gives a shit what color you are. Live with it. <clears throat> Sorry. Judge people on the content of their character, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seems pretty fucking obvious, no? Yeah, you know. 
Unless you work for CNN. Well, that's the content of their character, I think. Well, there you go. Judge them on that. Yeah. Judge them on spoon feeding you a bunch of fucking nonsense. Well, this was this was good, man. I liked it. I might have a drink next episode. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to need one next episode. <laughs> well, okay. Like I said, this was supposed to come out before the episodes we already filmed for Q. Yeah. And oh. so we'll have we'll have two parter for Q the next couple of weeks and then what we're filming next is what you're going to need a drink for because we're going to be talking about some chomos. I'm going to have a drink during that episode. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you sh- you're going to need it. All right, brother. It's well, not going to be fun. <clears throat> Well, I just got out of work and I'm gonna go get get myself a nap. All right. But this was this was good, man. On that note, Joseph, Godspeed. Godspeed, brother. Uh don't be racist and blow bridges. Bye. Bye. <laughs> You've reached the offices of the Godspeed Podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within twenty four business days. Thank you. Joey, I think you're crazy. I seen a video of the bridge getting hit and I didn't see any explosion.